Hello there, I am the Fabled Harpooner and welcome to another Barrier Hunt. Weapon class this time is the Light Bow Gun and the weapon of choice is an upgrade of the good shot or D upgrade. Keep mixing the A and Ds in different cases. That's mostly because some weapons have multiple upgrades, so it's A upgrade and upgrade or A upgrade. No, it's an upgrade. Can't even pronounce that properly. Oh, weapons like this one that only has one possible upgrade, so it should be D. The upgrade of choice is into the teasel shot. So that's why it pretty much is the same. A nice increase in raw damage. That's uh, two slots, which is nice. Extra normal free shot. Now the change. Extra thunder and freeze shot, or ice shot. I'm going to be using the thunder ones because uh, the battery earth is weak to them. Well, at least weaker than freeze, that's uh, for sure. And pretty much stays the same elsewhere. So I'm going to do this upgrade. And the next one is another later on upgrade. What I'm going to do is attach a long barrel for extra power. In oh, checked, so I'm going to set a couple of uh, freeze cold resistance jewels. So now I have D skills. I have cold resistance. I have a talisman of plus seven, so with two with the two slots that the diesel shot has, I managed to get the cold resistance in. Current resistance has no effect here. In fact, let's go to the other page. More descriptive. Speed gather. Yeah, as usual, over here. Norm rapid up. This is nice because uh, it's, it mixes up with the weapon since it's mostly a normal shot weapon. Weakness exploit, increasing damage when striking by parts upon which your attacks are highly effective. Gets in the head. And uh, status, status stack down is not, has no effect since this particular light bow gun doesn't have any status shots with it. Could have used to uh, have the the Rathalos armor set, but that's mostly a piercing based armor for the light, for the bow gunners. So since this weapon is a, as I said, a normal shot focused, I'm going to use a normal shot arm set. Is this? No. Is one of these two uh, a gunner set? No, that's a different mix. Okay, what about these? This is a strange combo. Firewalker for the lover and icebreaker. Is that even possible to happen? Yeah, I guess so. But that's uh, an Elder Dragon. Uh, let's see, I'm going to check these two. So I have Defender High, Medic. And what are these this combinations from us? Not something I would need here. So I might go for the medic. Because I believe the gunner might be these two, not this. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Or not. Typical. Yes, yeah, so a meat and uh, dairy products. For well, that and a well, one of no, none of them is no this available as fresh, so let's give the medic up. After doing the first, for the first time, barrier, I've unlocked a bit of progress with the main story, but it's not really much. Just that I can now do the villager request to unlock the camp for the Seodius. But since I'm not done hunting the barrier, nor the Diablos, which is there, it's not going to happen any time soon. And yeah. Pouch about it back in the box. Nope. Nope, not the people I want to talk to. Not right now. And another bard tail. Did I bring the yes, Psycho Serums again? This time we're going to check where it starts. Got boomerangs and slicing shots as well. 
Hopefully I'll get the tail this time, but I probably will get it because I'm going to focus on it. So first I'm going to get the map. Don't know why I keep taking the wet stones when I'm bowgunning. Anyway, no berries. An easy flash bomb. I guess the flash bombs work. I don't really find the best time to use them against him. Maybe when it's exhausted. Yeah, that will be the best moment, I suppose. Well, we can discard areas 3 and 2. 2 and 3. Because the popos are completely tranquil. I'm guessing 6. So, the thing is, 6 seems to be the furthest away area you can get to. Close, I suppose. Yeah, there it is. Oh, nice, it's noticed me, so it's not going to fly away. That's not a bad occurrence for me. And I need slicing shots up. Oh, fair timing. Ah, I wanted to hold down a bit. It went up. Climb. And this is going to hit a second time. Where is he? Oh. Just coming back up. And four and we managed to buy that. So yes, slicing shots. Uh, time to reload, but whatever. Oh, aiming for the tail is going to be a bit of a nightmare. And one. Because he likes to do that, the jump around and face you. So the tail is never going to be an easy target to aim for. And then the body slam, as you walk around it, he doesn't turn back. This one. Ah. Oh. My goodness. Both wasted slicing shots. This is going to be a nightmare to hit. He keeps going for me. Okay. I think that's going to be. That tail's going to be hard to hit. It's not low enough for me to just pot shot at it. I actually need to aim. And that didn't need to hit the wing. So I'm pretty much going to be doing damage that's not the tail. Again, it slams. I guess it shouldn't really go around it. Yeah, that will be a bit... Ah, oh, I hate that. Managed to hit the tail, but the explosion didn't. Ah. They really need to fix that mechanic. So the day, the delay explosion of the slashing shot is a bit annoying, and annoying, so you have to work around. You manage to get the actual hit. And these large wings don't actually help here either. Because they block shots that you try to aim for. Will you stop doing that? Going around and around. Oh, again. I need to remember there's only two shots here. Actually, some of the damage has come to the wing because of the mechanic of how the slicing works. Ah, I was hoping to get the tail on the downswing. Hearing as the slicing shots miss is so disappointing. Like, yeah, yeah, I got the tail. I managed to lodge the. Well, they're not in that case. The shot into the tail, the explosion goes off, and you hear absolutely no damage because it's turned or something. Okay, not sure how I could have dodged that one.
And it's bad enough that you miss yourself. Oh! I should have guessed that would have happened. Problem when he near, he's near the wall like that. Oh man, I can't believe I dodged that one. He will do that if he's targeting you. He will jump to the wall and then suddenly pounce, which is a really fast and damaging attack. Very much to. Mm, that seemed to have hit the tail. Okay, that seemed to hit again. And the two shots per round. Oh, reload. It's not really helping. Since there's a few times that you can actually shot, take a third shot. Seems exhausted. Should flash bomb it, I suppose. No, it's not exhausted because it can do that. So what was it? What was it to take a breather? No flinches yet, so I'm not sure how well I'm doing with the tail. Only if, oh, another missed one. Or you can call it a dud one, if you like. Logic in, but doesn't do the damage. Ah. Oh, that was a luck. Went for a, for a lucky shot that didn't pay off. I guess I really need to go the opposite way when it's going to do a body slam. Luckily, our boomerangs. And let's try the flesh up. I can't believe that. He was facing the right way, but he managed to step too far away to be affected by it. Should I even bother with one final? Oh no, I didn't paintball it. Okay, possibly two. And this is not the right way to go to two. Well, I could. Well, actually, you can now. Go to five, three, two. I can go to seven and two from here. Before it wasn't well it wasn't no it wasn't possible, you still had to go from seven. Yeah, good guess. Okay, and I should paint all it. Oh boy. Yeah, hit the talent a bit. I think I'm going to go for the boomerang. However, because of all, all the running around, I'm not sure how all that's going to work. I think the tail is going to be the most difficult thing to cut off this guy. A bit easier, maybe, in multiplayer hunts. Usually faces one hunter, and not the rest. Might not have needed to do that. Okay, I thought that one was going to be was going to be a standard raw exhaustion raw. No, it's going to be rage again. Well, at least out, out of exhaustion. Okay, there's the flinch to the tail. Come on, cut off. Oh, the tail went over me. Can't believe how sometimes the boomerangs fall short, start coming back sooner than you would like. Just a couple of inches away from actually hitting the target. Yeah, guess I should really. Start a rage roar. Could be, yeah, he's panting heavily. So that's a rage.
thought that was a hit to the tail. Ah, stay still. So I can cut off that tail. Am I going to run out of boomerangs? Not sure. I did hunt a couple of more Rathalos in a... I did actually run out of a boomerang while doing some hammer or hunting horn runs without managing to get off the tail. In fact, with a fact, sorry, with hunting horn, I had to time it so I could hit it with the uh, handle of the hunting horn. As that actually does cutting damage, and I did pull it off. I need, uh, need to trip it first. Now I decided to try it, see how close it was. <laughs> I did manage to get off that tail. And this is going to be something similar. I don't have any cutting weapons other than the boomerang, so if I source them, I will not be able to cut off that tail and I wasted a lot of time hunting the guy. That tower is hard to cut for some reason. Hard hit. And seems to take a lot of damage. Well, at least that's my impression. I know. I'm only managing to get one hit each time I can get close to the tower. One sometimes maybe one. One now. One and then it starts turning. So it's a really slow process. Just doesn't look like I can get the tail. I should try to roll for that one. And he moves away. So, so far, I've been trying to cut off that tail for over 10 minutes with no, not much success. Okay, since we took a bit of time, he might. No, he's going to do it. No, I thought I had the boomerang out. Cut off. Finally! Yes, let's use thunder shots. And I hope I remember to cut that tail. Should aim for the face, really. Or maybe the wings, I'm not sure in this which case would be better. Not familiar with this monster's chart. Chart. I'm guessing the amber tasks a bit more of a desirable target. Let's get to tail. And we get a tail piece. He's going to do one. I think he's trying to hunt by those. Surprise. Um, no. First days, preferably. Actually, let's... Time to get for the flitch. Maybe this will be a nice use of the flash bomb. Okay, got a face break as well. We must... Should get all the bread rewards now. Well, there's only two plus the car from the tail that I just got. So I should just take shots at it until it dies. Could go for the normal twos after this for the rapid fire. 
Oh no! Catch and carry and doing their stuff with breaking arcs. Oh! Nice dodge there. Oh! Overshot. And it's looking away. Okay. So it took longer, I'm guessing mostly because of the failed attempt of at getting the, not failed any longer, but the long dedication at trying to cut off that tail. Guess not the best using slicing shots with this guy. Good night. Okay, got like four reloads. This. Sixteen shorts in four rounds per reload. And he's already asleep. Again, shame I didn't bring anything to hit it hard. Change this small. Sounds louder for some reason. Okay, that's one round. One magazine, whatever you want to call it. Ah, tried to dodge, but not. Was already in the hitbox. Right, let's just go. Ah, dodged, but was still in. Ooh, and rolled into that attack. Okay, normal twos. Go for it. Thing. Ah, still too close to it. Managing to get hit on me. Hey, two rounds of rapid fire to finish it off. I seem to be was being being uh, I can not speak today. That I was uh, within its hitbox area every time of its attacks, just barely. Couldn't get away, so I've got a few more hits that I would like to have. Anyway, time beyond the 15 minute mark. Not too far away from the 20th. Anyway, let's see. Mining. Oh. Light crystals, actually. That's what we want, mostly. If not here, 5 is a good area. If you're lucky with the spawns. Now, which one was the good one? I can't remember, it doesn't matter. Quest is over. I think it was the blue ones. Could it be the red ones? That were the higher grade ones. Can't remember now. Been a while. Anyway, rewards. Okay, quantity. Secret pelts. Which I've got in a few now. Shells. Frost sack. First one, need those. Mostly for rust weapons and other sorted type of weapons. More frost sack? Oh, that's. Oh, from the face. So you either get amber tusks, frost sacks, and maybe something else. Maybe have claws. Oh, that's all nice. Dragon resistance plus one. I'll probably have a better one, but I'll take it later. I think even a s slotted with no skill talisman will be better. You can slot in the dragon resistance for a better one. Anyway, this has been the favorite harpooner hunting a barrier with the light weapon class, well, light light bow gun weapon class. 
and the diesel shot as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh dear lord. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time and good hunting.